happy Monday floss tube hello crafty friends welcome back it's a brand new week brand new day uh, and here we are again we have a giveaway to talk about first every Monday I do a giveaway here on the channel because it's Monday and um, this is probably the last because Monday giveaway chart giveaway I'm gonna do for a little while only because uh, I think I'm gonna start wrapping up trips to the post office and I'm still out of envelopes so even the last couple of charts that I've given away I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna be able to send those out so just a little heads up for those who have won however I have a little post-it with your name and address that I will stick on your chart I have a drawer specifically set aside for giveaways and so maybe it will be something that you look forward to receiving in the summer speaking of summer last week's chart for giveaway was a drawn thread chart and it's simply summer because we're all looking forward to getting through the next few months and getting to summer and actually there let's make sure that's that I'm not flapping it around while I'm talking too much drawn thread simply summer love this chart just a reminder they have all four um, all four charts put together on the back if you'd like to stitch it that way which I just think is absolutely beautiful beautiful I had 200 and how many did I have 218 comments I took a photo of the winner and that was Rhonda Jones so congratulations Rhonda Jones your comment was the one that was chosen and uh, I liked Rhonda's comment to me she said summer is coming and that's the truth it's kind of like Game of Thrones winter is coming summer is coming we will get there we will we will get there so Rhonda Jones congratulations hopefully you have this chart in your hands <laughs> by summer so I will do my best so I hope you can understand I'm just gonna have to put the pause button on the uh, charts that I'm sending out so uh, I only have a little bit of crafting uh, stitching to share with you today and that's my Savon because that was the only thing that I worked on since I last talked to you on Saturday and so I know it doesn't look like much but I filled in whoa sorry I filled in that and I also did a little bit of fill in here and I fixed here this one I fixed that diamond remember I had to frog out the um, I had to fro I'd made the same mistake on this side that I made on that side I had to frog it out I fixed it and I did a little bit more of the black 310 fill in on that side and that was it oh and I did a little bit more of the blue fill in in the middle of the f of the face there I know it's not a face but I think of a face now when I look at it um, I'm I whenever I I know I repeat myself However, if I don't repeat myself, I usually have at least three or four comments of people asking me, which I don't mind. So it's just easier for me to try and remember to tell, to say these things. This is a Kay's Creations uh, lap frame. Yeah, Kay's Creations lap frame. Scroll rod system. There's webbing um, on each of the rods that I simply sew my fabric to. And then it's a <clears throat> knob finial end there. Uh, this is a 16 count off-white Ada and the called for DMCs and the pattern is Savon by Landmark Tapestries and Charts and you can find that pattern it's very hard to find the Landmark Tapestries charts but uh, you can find them through www.celtichobbies.com and uh, Claire is the uh, the owner of that uh, online shop so thank you Claire Claire actually donates $1 of the pattern sales from Savon and also Amtrak to Muscular Dystrophy Canada. And I, I mentioned this on Saturday, but I'm gonna mention it again because I think it's awesome. Uh, she just donated $50 in, in our, in her and our name uh, to Muscular Dystrophy Canada. So I just, I think that that's, I think that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, that is the only cross stitch that I did but it's most certainly not the only crafting that I did this weekend 
Um, I did, I, I sewed all weekend. Pretty much, well I've been sewing all week, as you know. Um, I have a project bag business. And so I finished all of the um, pink feather bags, those are all done. And the matching notions pouches, but they're over there, I'm not gonna reach over there. And also, um, I want credit for these. These are the teal bags. Um, so I finished these on Friday, Saturday, Friday and Saturday morning. And so, and, and also the matching, uh, imagine that stack plus all of these notion pouches. So notion pouches. So that's the kit. The kit is now done and ready to all be mailed out completely done. So now my next job is to, uh, today I'm going to be working on all of the grime guards that were ordered and tomorrow I'm going to be working on all of the extra bags in the other prints other than the kit that were sold. So my plan is to have all of the orders that are in the shop and waiting. They're all going to be sewn by tomorrow night, Wednesday all day I'm going to be packaging and I'm gonna, I might try to also send out a box tomorrow as well. Um, tomorrow and Thursday, I can have FedEx come to my house and pick it up right from my porch. So that's what I've chosen to do. And then uh, I guess my biggest news for you today is that I have decided to shut down the shop for the next month. Um, I think that that's going to be up in the air. But I think that uh, uh, the more things that, you know, Ontario, where I where I live, Ontario, Canada, we have shut down all non-essential businesses. I am clearly not an essential business. Um, I do work from my home. They don't, you know, online business is not required to shut down. However, um, being that, you know, I require certain things that, you know, need to be shipped and sent to me or, you know, the, the fabric shop is closed. So if I run out of a lining or a zipper or, you know, something that I need, it, it's not easy to get. And so that creates a little bit of, of anxiety. Um, and also, you know, my kids are home full time now and uh, they're, you know, life is just a little bit a little bit unusual at the moment. So that's not to say that I'm not going to be working. I am going to spend the next however long that the the storefront online is closed down. I'm going to be making project bags with what I have here. I have lots of zips. I have lots of fabric. And so I might not have 50 of the matching kind, but um, I can certainly be making project bags over the next month. And then when things are a little bit more certain, then I will reopen and I will have uh, shop. Uh, I will have bags that are that are ready to go. So that's really what I've been. That's what I've been crafting over the last couple of days, and that's why I have very little stitching progress to share with you. So I would imagine that come Friday, you're going to start to see that I'm going to be having a little bit more cross stitch and knitting progress as I'm able to. Uh, start to um, doing a little bit more personal crafting but uh, I do love my job I love what I do and it's thanks to you that I get to make these bags and I've appreciated every single one of you that has ever purchased a bag from the shop so as of now the shop is now closed down um, because I just can't I, I have enough work to get me through the next few days and then I, I need to get it out the door and shipped to you so so I know this is a little bit of a shorter video today, um, but I just want to leave you with a couple of dad jokes because I'll admit that I tried to replace the news a few times this weekend by just Googling dad jokes because I think they're funny. They make me laugh. So all you have to do is type in best dad jokes and you'll come up with a whole pile of them. So. Every time I stubbed my toe as a kid, my dad would ask if he should call a tow truck. If he says no, I'll call the wambulance. <laughs> Someone call wine one, wine one one. And this is the best one. I was driving down the highway yesterday, saw a trailer with a bumper sticker that said, I go where I'm towed. <laughs> dad jokes. They really are the best. 
That's so funny. This one, I've heard this one before, but it bears repeating because it's really funny. So the dad says, I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey. And the rest of us are like, what? And dad says, but then I turned myself around. <laughs> I know, right? I know, they're terrible. They're terrible, but I still find them funny. No one else in my family finds Well, Nicholas does. That's about it. Nicholas and I share that in common. And sometimes John will come home with a joke and you're like, I heard, he says, I'll, I heard this today. I think you'll find it funny. And invariably, I do find it funny. All right, that's it for me today. Take care, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for another daily crafty chat. And happy stitching until then. Take care.